up, I'm Alex, it's me, I'm a Jane on I'm a Jane TV, and we are here back with Chongha. So Chongha is back. So she has made a new song called Play and it's featuring Chang Mo. So if you don't know who Chang Mo is, Chang Mo was a former member of a now disbanded group from JYP, and also this group was also part of Big Hit Entertainment as well. So they were like between they were like a, a group that was in two uh, in two different labels, helping them to grow and everything, and also helping Big Hit to to grow as it is right now. So they were in two two a.m. So if you don't know, two a.m. was in two separate um, labels. So they were in JYP originally from JYP, but they also moved to Big Hit Entertainment. While before. Um, even before, I think this was before or after, no, this was before BTS even came about. So this group uh, unfortunately disbanded. Uh, they had really, they were more the ballad group than 2pm. So they were 2am, which is more the ballad one. And then you got the 2pm, which is more the opposite to 2am. <laughs> so we're going to do... Uh, Chongha play in three, two, one, go, go. I don't know what to expect, but I know it's just gonna be a bop because it's Chongha. <gasps> she looks so pretty. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. She looks so pretty. I love her long hair. I need to grow my hair out again. I kind of miss my long hair. It's just her dress is so pretty. It's giving me Spanish, well, more Spanish vibes. I realise that K-pop has, a, a lot of K-pop groups have a lot of um, Spanish, well, mainly Latino influences. Yes, I love that dress. She looks so pretty with a thousand. This is definitely more Latino side. She looks so pretty, so graceful. Yeah. Oh no, this is more Spanish side because they're more the flamenco side. But it's also a bit of Latino. It's a bit of a mixture between Spain and Latin, Latin American countries. Because we have a lot of ruffles, a lot of colours, and so style, but she also have a she also shoving in some oh my god her nails. I yeah. I, she's so pretty man. Look at her, she's so gorgeous man. Yeah, this is definitely more Spain because if you don't know uh, what she's doing, she's actually bullfighting with a <laughs> she's actually bullfighting with a car, but the car I, I mean the car is in the wrong color. It should be black because if you don't know in Spain, it's not it's very uncommon now in in Latin American countries, but it's, it originated from Spain, uh, especially the 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 gypsies. It's actually originated from Andalusia, Andalusia, which is a uh, Andalusian part of Spain where you know people that does flamenco which are from Seville and other places of that area of department in Spain that they they have a very specific accent they speak very fast it's like as if you, you hear a, a Scottish person Scottish person or a Irish person speaking because they speak very fast so it's just like similar to that um, but they originate from a gypsy gypsy blood on that side so bullfighting flamenco those are very very those parts like of seville they very common so she's actually bullfighting with a red car but she because she's using that thing i don't know what it's called but you know what i'm trying to say what you see in bullfighting so we're just going to continue it was missing on her is the is the headpiece because they, um, these bullfighters wear these black, kind of weird hats. They're like 
They look like ears, but they're not. Oh, is she doing puzzle dolin? Oh, she's. I think she is. I think she did practice a bit of puzzle dolin for this music video. Puzzle dolin is also a style from the from Seville. So it's similar to flamenco, but they're not the same. I love this. Her, her flower head is so pretty. This is actually a fun video. This is actually a banger already. She, I mean, ever since from the very beginning, she has produced bop after bop after bop. So that was that was Chunka play. She has did it is giving me Spanish, more Spanish than than Latin, Latin American music because she has shown a bit of um, a bit of flamenco, a bit of paso doble, and a bit of um, bullfighting. So yeah, it's very very common to see in Spain <laughs> you don't see that in, in Latin America we don't the, the dresses that Spanish people well not not Spanish people Andalusians wear when they play when they dance in flamenco when they dance in paso doble or even singing flamenco music and the, the start of playing the guitar you don't see that in Latin America so people actually do confuse with Spain especially Koreans actually get mixed up with Spain and Latin America and they think that they are the same. We are not the same. We are absolutely complete, utter difference. I mean, like in my mom's country, if you don't know, my mom's from Colombia. Um, she's Colombian, yeah, so, so I eat 90% of my diet in my food is 100% Colombian. So I barely eat English food. But once I do, I do eat it. But yeah, so yeah, it's two, it's two completely the, the polar opposite because Colombians are known for colourful outfits. They, we do, we, we have, a, they have like different departments in Colombia that do different, but there's none, none to be the same as flamenco and bullfighting and all of that Spain have. No, <laughs> also known as Andalusians, is the total, complete opposite. Like we we have like we eat arepas. Spanish people don't eat arepas, by the way. Um, we eat we um we 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 make a music type of music called mapale. There's a type type of dance called mapale. There's a type of dance called joropo. There's a type of dance called um, cumbia. Those originate from Colombia, but most of these this style of music in Colombia, a lot of ninety percent, fifty percent is um red indian like we call it indígena uh musica indígena like if you're colombian you know what i'm saying and some of them are african another 50 is like african like no no joke like because of um if you don't know the history that like we obviously just like in the usa yes latin american also had black um uh, slaves so they, the black people in Colombia also had slavery at the time because of the Spanish people. And they also had the, the, the indígenas, um, the red Indians as slaves. They had the black people as slaves. Like the people who originated from Colombia are, became their slaves, the Spanish people slaves. So we will, so let's just say the mistreatments by Spanish people, <laughs> yeah. So there was a, it's a bit, I think I'll, I'll just, just just clarify this, Colombia is one of those countries that is 100% diverse. It's one of the most diverse Latin American country in the in the Latin American um, community. So with that, so yeah, I really appreciate that she has shown a bit of spine, what it looks like, because it does do bullfight, except the car is not black. Because if you look carefully, a bull is not black, it's not red, it's black. However, the cloth that they use is red. For some reason, it triggers the ball and it goes to attack the, the thingy. I don't know what to call it. 
that material that, that <laughs> to to put them go after. Um, I, it's one of those sports that I don't like, to be honest. I don't actually I don't like it because it's very in. It's, you can endanger yourself, or sadly they kill the ball. I just don't like it at all. I just don't. I just feel. I feel pain when I see someone stabbing a ball because for them it's sports, it's entertainment. I don't find it entertaining. I don't. It just breaks my heart, and I just. Yeah, I just don't like it. I just it 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 saddens me. <laughs> Anything to do with killing animal, it just saddens me for some reason. It's not because I'm, uh, I'm not saying I'm vegan or vegetarian or anything like that. I'm not saying anything like that. I just don't like seeing those things on TV or people killing animals. It's just, it depresses me. So, uh, yeah, I love this very much. I love you all. Annyeong, everyone, and Sarah here.